Solar photovoltaic, or PV arrays, in the southeastern United States are subject to high levels of heat, humidity, precipitation, and pollen. The Electric Power Research Institute, Southern Company, and the Southeastern Solar Research Center are conducting a large, multifaceted demonstration project to better understand how solar PV arrays perform under these conditions. The Southern Research Institute is hosting the project and also doing a lot of the work here. We're looking at different configurations of solar PV and correlation between weather and output. We've got dual and single axis tracking and different fixed solar arrays. We're also going to be starting a lot of work soon looking at accelerated aging, trying to predict long-term performance and degradation and failure modes for solar PV. And all that work is going to have a focus on the climate in the southeast. We're measuring temperatures and solar radiation, uh, power output, voltage and current. We've also got a, a weather station measuring different components of solar radiation, wind speed, temperature, um, and various other weather measurements out of the site. Well, the first phase of this project is looking at the different orientations and tracking methods for solar arrays. We have five arrays at the site. The purpose of these different arrays is to look at the energy performance, specifically for the southeast within Southern Company's territory. In addition to that, we want to look at statistics to show the power output at certain times of day, and the utility can take that information and then better understand at specific orientations and tracking methods, what does my power profile look like? We are also looking at the variability of solar at these different orientations and tracking methods. So solar variability is essentially the ramping up and down of power that's induced by clouds passing in front of the sun. Characterizing the variability of solar output statistically will allow us to show at certain orientations and tracking methods you may have more or less variability at specific times of day. What we're doing um, out here in the main in the field is getting performance data of the panels, but what we're doing in the labs is actually putting the panels through an accelerated aging program so that we can understand how these panels will perform 10, 15, 20 years from now. And so we'll put them through environmental stresses like UV exposure and hot conditions, damp conditions, cold, humidity freeze cycles, even some mechanical stresses like some bending moments and so forth on these panels. And then put them out in the field and then understand how those perform with respect to the baseline panels. One of the goals here is periodic maintenance of the arrays. Uh, one of the items that we do for the periodic maintenance is uh, IV curve traces. Uh, where we measure the current and the voltage for each panel and each array. We log that on a computer by attaching to the array itself and by looking at the data from that curve we can uh, tell if the uh, panel is underperforming, aging, something's wrong, it needs to be replaced and uh, go to the next array. One of the things that we've just recently installed at the Southeastern Solar Research Center is a soiling measurement station. It's a reference cell which is a calibrated solar radiation sensor. It's also got a standard solar panel next to it. There's a jet of distilled water that'll get all the dirt off of it. And then throughout the day, we'll compare the measurements from the reference cell with the panel right next to it. Over time, as the panel is unclean, soil will build up on it and we'll be able to see the, the real-time change in output between the two. And that'll give us a good calibrated measurement of how much soiling in the southeast is degrading the performance of solar panels. One of the pieces of equipment we've installed here is a sky imager and what it does it takes pictures of the sky every 30 seconds and tracks the movement of the clouds in order to forecast the output of the solar plant for the following 15 minutes. The sky imager is really a short-term solar forecasting system and it combines both a hardware setup with equipment in the field as well as a software program that takes the images and produces a short-term solar forecast. We look at irradiance as well as AC power that would be forecasted from this system. So by demonstrating it at this site, we're able to understand the feasibility of this system and also validate the accuracy and its performance by comparing forecasted values to actual measurements that we have also on the site. EPRI's research results will provide valuable information about PV plant configurations, solar tracking, performance, and operation. The research will also advance development of solar technologies and forecasting.